Well, thanks so much for joining us, Mark. It's great to see you back at the Cattery. How does it feel to be here now in a coaching capacity? Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, obviously, the venue is very different to when I was last in here. There's still some familiar faces amongst the AFL group, which has been been nice. It's made the tra transition a lot easier um, having those guys. And um, yeah, it's exciting amongst the VFL program to get to know everyone's story and where it all fits. And um, yeah, footy games are nearly upon us, so it's exciting. And we're very fortunate to have you off the back of a successful stint with Casey Demons. Um, what are you looking forward to about this next chapter for you at Geelong? I think it's exciting for my end to be able to learn, like obviously with Geelong AFL having won the Premiership last year, for me I see that as a great opportunity to learn um, exactly what they're doing and the way we're now we're trying to play, which um, for me is an opportunity to continue to enhance um, uh, the way we're going to play at the VFL, but also too how um, we as a VFL group can continue to support the AFL to continue to strive for more success. We're nearing the end of pre-season now, so how's it all been travelling for the group? Yeah, really well. Um, there's a lot of new faces from what I'm told amongst the group. I was a new myself, so uh, there's been a lot of um, connection and trying to get to know one another and understand everyone's story. So that's um, that's been really exciting. And so, yeah, from now on, I think it's a little bit more about football, but so far so good. And um, I think the boys are just hungry to get into yeah some genuine opposition and genuine football. Yeah, and it's not far away, obviously, that chance for them. Practice match is just around the corner. So what is the hunger like to actually get into those and get started? Yeah, I think from a VFL perspective, a lot of our guys are still, um, we're also still trying to get an assessment on where everyone sits um, and where their strengths are. So the boys are really hungry to play against someone different. Um, it's not quite the same when you're training against each other, you know what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve. So when you get some actual opposition out there, then it's, um, you know, it's more like a real game of football. So I think they're just hungry to get out there and compete against someone else other than themselves. It's going to be a big season ahead. Obviously, there's a lot of big um, big clashes in the VFL itself, but also Kern races for the AFL and the chance to play on the MCG on Easter Monday, which must be really exciting as well. Yeah, it is. I think it's great football and it's great for our group, the opportunity to be able to keep the program synchronised, but also like for some of our young boys to play on the MCG on an Easter Monday, um, that's an experience that's not very often come about. So not only from a young AFL player's perspective, but also our VFL guys to be able to set foot on the MCG. Um, it's an absolute privilege, so it's really exciting. Who are the players who have really impressed you this pre-season or who do you think fans should keep an eye out for in the year ahead? Yeah, like from my end, I guess um, if I'm talking about new players into our program, there's a lot of new young players who I think have got plenty of upside and um, a couple of those are Ryan Ayres, um, who's a 19-year-old from Murray, Tanner Lewis, who's a local um, from um, the Giants. Um, there's also Hunter Gotchling, Tyler Norton, also from the Murray. So with the VFL, when you can play a 19-year-old as a 23rd player, you get an opportunity to get a look at these guys early. And so um, those guys are just some of the ones we'll get to have a look at. Um, you know, we're fortunate enough to have a Braden Ham who's um, off Essendon's list in amongst our program, Tynan Smith from the Northern Bull Ants. Um, so there's a lot of sort of young, fresh, new faces, but also some experience in there, which will give us a, a good blend. Obviously there's a lot of exciting VFL talent coming through the list and it'll be a chance though for a lot of the young AFL guys to get a bit of a go at a high level of footy. So what do you think VFL will do to help them with their development and how will they help the overall team success? Yeah, I think it's really important and um, from my end we'll try and align ourselves as closely as possible with the AFL program. Um, the unfortunate reality is 43 doesn't go into 22 from an AFL perspective so there's guys that miss out playing AFL but I think that's healthy. Um, so if we've got young guys who can master their roles really quickly and learn and adjust and continue to grow and develop and hopefully put some pressure on those guys playing AFL, that's a really healthy environment. So um, from a VFL perspective we'll be trying to upskill these players as quickly as possible to be able to fill roles within the AFL or if not put pressure on those guys. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mark. Good luck for the season ahead. Thank you very much. Look forward to it.